important are male consumers versus the women who actually buy the clothes for the men? <laughs> well, it's great that men are taking such an active interest in fashion. And, um, of course, the menswear figures are going from strength to strength. So um, this is the fourth uh, London uh, sort of men's fashion week, which we're calling London Collections Men, because actually it's only three days at the moment. Um, and it's an opportunity for brilliant British brands, everything from Burberry to uh, the guys on German Street, the Savile Row tailors, right through to our young emerging talent of which we have a great crop to showcase um, their collections to international audiences. But is it men buying, or, or to go back to that point that I just made, is it women buying for men? Is this growth being led by greater male interest in grooming and how they look and taking care of it? Is actually some part of it about um, women doing the buying? Well, I think it's probably a bit of both, isn't it? But I think the men are starting to take a much more active role in are you, the way that they Are you targeting this at the... Take the three gents around this table. Are we your target market or not? Well, of course. You wear clothes, you buy fashion. Uh, right. You know, whether it's uh, from the high street, whether you're going to get a bespoke suit, you know, it's what you wear at the weekend, what you're wearing so it doesn't matter if the age demographic is an irrelevance? Absolutely, of course, is that many of these brands target everything from sort of your 20-year-olds right through to um, probably retirees. Um, and the fact is, is that uh, with great menswear is that if you have a great suit, it can last you for years. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, uh, in, you know, growing up as a kid, you always went shopping with your mum, and so, you know, then, uh, now, only now, when the ranges are such, so you go into a shop, you think, actually, this looks really good, and actually wearing bright shirts and being a bit of fun, But men, men still, but there are a lot of men in the city, particularly, will still predominantly go, uh, it's January, and I will now go out and buy all my shirts for the rest of the year. I'll now go and buy the shoes that I need the rest of the year. If I need a couple of suits, I'll get, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll look, wait for the sales to come around and go, right, it's loaded up. It's, cool. <laughs> it's efficient. You, right, you've done this, right? I mean, it's, that's, that's what guys do. Okay, I, I will do two or three chips, get everything I need, and I'm done. I always right. go back to exactly the same shops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's because I spend so much time working out which ones I like. Course. But I think do guys do have lots of brand loyalty, and I think it's finding what works for you and keep going back. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I was just going to ask a quick question. I spoke to the CEO of Mr. Porter. Yes, Can I ask you about digital and, and how much of the boom that we're seeing in, the, in men's clothing and apparel in particular is driven by digital sales or online sales versus actually going into a shop and buying 10 of the same shirt because you like them? Absolutely. Well, I think is that everyone's life is so busy these days, is that being able to shop online and being able to do it at night, uh, and the great service that Mr. Porter provides, getting it delivered the same or next day, um, is an incredible opportunity. And it's also a good way to be able to browse and look at the content and look at new styles and try things out. Shirts, shirts I buy online. Shirts, really easy buy thing bulk. to buy online. Buy in bulk online shirts, that works. As long as you're buying British, it's 